so my first tip for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4, I mean this pretty much applies to any tablet as well, is to get rid of this weather widget. And I say get rid of it because it's just so large, it takes up a good portion of the screen and you can use that um, area of the screen for, for more icons and for more applications. And I want to show you what you want, you can do because some of you may want to keep a, a weather widget but there are some alternatives. So I want to show you some choices right here. Uh, these are two widgets that I really like and they're highly configurable. Uh, you have the top one which is from a company or, or a, a development company or, or product called Beautiful Widgets and then you have this one which is called HD Widgets. Uh, so literally all you do is once you go to the marketplace and I'll put some links uh, for these products uh, in the YouTube channel, all you do is once you have um, installed the widgets you click right here which says uh, Widgets and then you go to the appropriate widget. So I'm not going to choose anything except just going to show you some of the options. So notice all the different widgets that you have here and some thin widgets that don't take up your whole screen. If you want something big you can do that with these really big ones but the whole point is to get more real estate back on the screen. Now there's some other widgets here um, and I'll show you the uh, the beautiful widgets ones and again you could go with either, with either product take a look at them on the on the marketplace and, the, and then just determine which one you like the most. Uh, so let's see, where are my beautiful widgets? All right, so here's my beautiful widgets. I tap it, and then notice all the different. You can have a bare bone one, you can have one that's a little wider and chubby, uh, a big one again, um, and then you have uh, this one right here. So again, lots of options, and both, uh, both um, products are configurable. Some have skins, some have uh, don't have skins, but they're very highly customizable. And the thing is, once you've, um, you know, one of the things that people like about, let's say for example, this widget here, is that when you click on it, you're going to be able to get the weather, right? It's going to tell you everything that's going on, and that's fine. Uh, but so do these other products, and, and you're not, you're going to get more screen real estate. So if I, for example, tap on this one, um, this is going to give me. Oops, I apologize. That was my clock. Let's try tap on the weather. Um, I'm going to get the weather, right? And I and with this one uh, in particular, uh, this one gives you a lot more information. Um, you can actually see what the weather looks like uh, in, you know, hour by hour uh, throughout the day. Um, uh, the the second widget, HD widgets, has a, a similar approach. So it's going to show you uh, the weather. I'm going to just say, uh, no thanks for this. And it's going to show you again the weather in a different format, and but they both give you weather and they give you weather detail. So uh, first tip, get rid of this uh, this huge weather icon uh, or a widget, and all you do to do that is you press and hold and you drag it up to the remove where it gets red and it's gone. Now look at all that real estate that you have, and you can move one of these widgets over, like I have here. And what I'll do is I'll I'll go ahead and grab this one and drag it over. Like I'm showing you here and I'll just put it at the top. Now I have my weather widget and I have all the space free.